What's up guys? I'm Topher Fisher with Topher Fisher Photography. I shoot weddings, engagements, and seniors all year round. Uh, this is my first video. Thanks for watching. Um, it's so new that I haven't even named it. Um, I'm thinking something edgy, something cliche like Topher's Classroom. That sounds cool, right? I like it. So let's get started, guys. What I'm going to talk about are these three lenses. Uh, these are the lenses that I use. I take them out on all my shoots. Um, but I'm reaching out to the people that just got their hands on their very, very, very first DSLR. They don't even know what to do with it. They're freaking out. They're like, I just want to shoot, but I don't know what to get. So I want to help you out. Okay. These lenses all come with lens hoods. Boom. I'm going to get them out here like that. All right. So I'm going to talk about this. But first, I just want to mention, guys, photography is expensive. Okay. If you want to do it for a career, you want to do it for an expensive hobby, invest sorry don't tell your wives because they get a little edgy <laughs> so anyways let's get started um the first question you guys want to ask yourself what are you shooting and basically what are you going to do with it so the very first question i always ask myself what i'm shooting um am i shooting with um, just a single person and I want to use natural light, which is ambient light. Um, I don't want to use any uh, fill light such as like the big reflectors or I don't want to bring external lighting like um, flashes or soft boxes. I just want to take my camera, my lens, my person and I want to go. So this guy right here is what you want to use. This is an awesome lens. It is a Sigma 50 millimeter 1.4 lens. Okay. This is the lens that you want to use if you just want to go out to the camera, uh, shoot, uh, just like, just natural lighting, but you also get that super awesome, crisp, blurry background. The way that happens is this lens uh, opens wide open at 1.4, which means it lets in a lot of light. Also, you can shoot super fast. Um, it's very, very awesome. Um, it, it's awesome for getting up close and personal, making your subject feel a little weird, but also getting awesome results, okay? Um, and I'm also going to supply links down at the bottom. Um, so if you want to look into it, boom. This is the very first version, though. Sigma makes a couple different versions of the 51.4. Just keep that in mind. I'll send you a link, though. Next, I want to talk about my 24 to 70 millimeter at 2.8. This is the first version as well. Um, this is my main squeeze. I can take her anywhere and I can do anything with it. It's very, very awesome. It's a 24 to 70, which means it's a wide angle 24, but also you can compress it down to 70 millimeters and get that super awesome blurry background that everyone loves. Um, I can use this for natural ambient lighting, similar to my Sigma 51.4, but also I can use this um, let's say I want to get like um, the sunset and it's got that awesome bright orange sky, but I want to throw in some external lighting. I can get that full landscape, but I can also toss some light on them and make it a, a cool portrait slash landscape, do awesome things with it. Um, I can shoot it indoors. I can shoot it outdoors. Um, I can use it in low light situations. I can get mountains and all this crazy awesome stuff with this guy right here. I will send you a link too. Last but not least, this is my 70 to 200 2.8 lens. This is the first version as well. Um, basically, the difference between these two guys, the first versions, is they're not image stabilizers. So if you're shooting video, it's going to be a little shaky. Uh, no big deal though. It's all good. Um, also, this is a heavy lens. I want to start off by saying this is about $1,500 straight out of the box. Uh, ouch. But I got this guy for 700 bones off Craigslist. I want to say if you're uh, if you're going through Craigslist, 
um, do your research, okay? Meet up with the person, make sure it works, okay? Um, the guy I bought this from was an awesome dude, just decided he didn't want her anymore. So anyways, 70 to 200 millimeters, the reason why everyone uh, seeks out for this lens um, is because of the compression. Let's say I'm already at 70 millimeters. If I zoom it in all the way to 200, that's just zooming in so far, which is compressing the subject and is making that background so blurry. It's stupid. Okay. Everyone loves it. It's gorgeous. So those are the three lenses that I use. This is all subjective. Everyone shoots something different. Some people just want to go the natural ambient lighting route. Do that. That's awesome. Um, if you want to kind of like shoot everything and everything, look for a wide angle that also is, um, and you know, a wide open aperture, such as 24 to 70, 2.8 lens. If you wanted something that makes you look like a complete badass, get this one. Everyone looks at you and they're like, oh my gosh, cut it out. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but this is the lens that people use if, you know, you know, you're in wide open spaces and you got a lot of background and a lot of openness around you. You know, if I'm using this lens, I'm probably about, 50 yards out zooming all the way into my subject where they have about 50 yards of background behind them too so it makes it look super awesome and blurry um but guys i'll send you links down at the bottom um if this video was helpful at all thank you i want to say thanks again for watching my very 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 first episode of topher's classroom title of this lenses why they're so awesome. All right, guys, till next time, peace.